What's going on everybody? Here it is Sunday morning. I've got some comic books to show you all and I'm listening to some David Bowie. I'm listening to the album called Low. It's a pretty awesome album if you haven't heard it. So, Alright, moving on with my haul. Last night I went to a local city and picked up a bunch of books. I finally got my new saga book. Haven't read it yet. I'm gonna read it here and probably after to shoot this video. And let's see here. These are all dollar comics I picked up at a store. I'm gonna show you. I got Captain America 197. It's got a little bit of water damage, but it's still a dollar. Jack Kirby art, as if you couldn't tell. Got 196. I think that current cover is awesome. <clears throat> Picked up 195. Picked up the Eternals number eight for a dollar. The Eternals number seven. I've got this because I wasn't sure if I already had it or not. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I think I already do, but I don't know. If I do, I'll have an extra. Got it for a buck. Picked up a few spotties I need for my collection. It's number 384. Number 377. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, these Mark Bagley books were um, the ones I used to get when I was probably about, I don't know, I'd say 12 years old or so. I used to have a subscription to Spider-Man when I was a child. <laughs> I just lost some of them over the years. This is actually an upgrade. I had this one before, but mine was in pretty bad shape, so I upgraded it. So I'm really closing the gap on my Spider-Mans. I think I need about 60 more to have one through 400. Alpha Flight number six. And with a lot of those being actually real cheap dollar comics, but I just haven't picked them up yet. <clears throat> Still looking to get Amazing Spider-Man 238 and number 300. Those are kind of uh, holding me up. Number four. A couple John Byrne books to fill my John Byrne whole collection here. I only need a couple of them to have the whole collection. Number 241. Alright guys, and the rest of these books are going to be 33 cent books I picked up at a store I've been showing you guys I've been picking up books from. They actually had new books there and I couldn't believe it. So, I got this one for 33 cents. New Mutants, pretty good shape. Picked up Power Pack number one. Pretty silly book, but it was a number one issue in like probably very fine condition for 30 cents, so I can't pass that up. I might read it, I don't know. Power Fist and Iron Man, or Power Man and Iron Fist. Power Fist and Iron Man, no. Power Man and Iron Fist. <laughs> that was a good one. Number 76. Actually, Frank Miller does some of the art on that. Uh, X Factor, number what, 81? Yep. So, yeah, a lot of these books are like very fine and near mint for 33 cents. I had this one when I was a kid, I remember this one. Alright, X Factor number 55. Awesome Mike Magnola cover. Look at that. X Factor number 28. Picked up this uh, Jack of Hearts. I've got two out of the four. It was only, I mean, obviously it was really cheap. I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. I don't know. I'm gonna read it. I might. I'm so behind on books now, guys. I probably got like 300 books I haven't read yet. Jack of Hearts number one. Been buying too many books. I don't know what the deal is on the Jack of the Hearts. I think he was a Hulk character. If I remember from being a kid. Doctor Strange number 76. That's an awesome cover. I love that Medusa looking. I love Doctor Strange. Picked this up and I was shocked to find this for 33 cents. I thought it was awesome because it's a Jaws parody cover. And it's actually in about a 6.0 condition, so very cool. The new Defenders number 140 with sticker damage that I did. Because I can't stand having a sticker on my book. I tore it off and ripped the shit out of it. <laughs> I'd rather have a hole in my book than have a sticker on it. So. <laughs> the New Defenders number 128. That is a crazy cover. I like that. I don't know why. It looks like a, almost like a photograph, but it's been rendered pretty cool. I like that. I found X-Men and Micronauts number one. I've never had this before. 33 cents. Not worth it. I mean, it's worth picking up. 
got a bunch of um, fine to fine plus copies of Amazing Adventures number 33. John Ramada cover. Oh, my album just skipped. Yeah. Alright, well, I won't bore you with it, but let's just say I got four copies of that book for 33 cents. I'm investing in the future here. Yeah. Two rocks on a stone. That's an awesome cover. It's about fine plus condition. I love finding a gold key book for 30 cents. That's amazing. I still can't believe it. Ripley's Believe It or Not. Pretty cool painted cover. And these are kind of cool. I've been picking these up even though I probably have some of these. Tiger Man. Number three. I believe that is definitely Steve Ditko. Got a bunch of Atlas books here. I picked up Tales of Evil. I thought it was awesome looking, so I had to get it. I actually shot this video last night, guys, but I had a few too many beers and it didn't really make much sense, so I just redid it. Here's the Destructor. Another Steve Ditko, fine plus condition. And Neil Adams did this one, Planet of Vampires, number one. This is my second copy of this one. Monster Hunters, thought that was a cool cover. Let's see what else. Monster Hunters number one. That was kind of cool to find. <clears throat> Shazam. Never owned a Shazam in my life, so there's always a first of everything, right? And then I've got Ghosts. Let's see what else. The House of Mystery. And then I, um, I actually found these. These are 33 cents too, and I just picked them up because they they were from they're Golden Age books. They're from 1958, I believe. They're they're Hispanic books. They were marketed for the Mexican market here, and they're about very good to fine condition. So if they're not worth anything, oh well. I guess I picked them up and got two of them. So I don't know. I haven't found any information on them really. I just know that they were they were sold here in the states, I believe. But. Well, anyway, guys, um, I thank you all the viewers for watching everything, all my videos and commenting. Um, and I can't believe I have 150 subscribers. I'm just shocked that people are actually watching. It's not that I, I, I have to have subscribers. I just enjoy the feedback. And I'm, I don't have any um, pals around here that actually collect comics. So it's very cool to get feedback from everybody. So I will probably be doing a contest at some point. I'm going to have to get the details rolling. We'll let the dust settle on one, two, three Comic Man's contest. And here in a couple weeks, I'll probably do something. So I do appreciate all the views, and uh, thank you for all the comments, and I love your guys' videos. Thanks for coming out. Have a great weekend. Later.